I'm Mark Smith. I'm the chef and owner of the Tortilla Press in Collingswood, New Jersey, and Tortilla Press Cantina in Pensacon. I'm a huge fan of Jersey Fresh Produce for a couple different reasons. The major reason would be the flavor profile of the stuff that we bring in. If you get corn that was picked that morning, it's 20 times better than corn that was picked four days ago and then shipped. Every Saturday from May to November, Collingswood runs one of the coolest little farmer's markets that I've ever been to, and we've been fortunate enough to participate in it. Um, as the market has progressed, we've taken over the main cafe spot where we feature the Jersey Fresh product. And um, a couple times a year, we'll gather a group of uh, interested guests and we will do a tour of the market. It's just really, really a great community event where I get to see my guests and the farmers also have great interaction with not only us, but all the different customers. The dish that my guests look forward to the most throughout the year is when the Jersey Fresh Sweet Corn comes in. It's my favorite to actually cook, eat, and serve. We get such awesome reviews on it. Um, people love the presentation and it's really neat because it's an awesome take on the Mexican grilled sweet corn that we got to gussy up a little bit and make it more, more fun. So let's get started making the garlic chili butter. So what we have here is we have our butter that's softened to room temperature and we're putting it into our mixer. And then we're going to make sure the mixer is secure and then we're gonna start mixing the butter. While the butter is mixing, since it's like right at perfect softness, we're gonna add uh, about a tablespoon of fresh chopped garlic, a little bit of our ancho chili powder, and then a little bit of our New Mexico red chili powder, and our lime juice. <clears throat> and make it just a little bit faster to incorporate the lime juice, the chili, and the garlic. Okay, so now we get to the favorite part of my recipe, which is the Jersey Fresh Sweet Corn. Um, we get our sweet corn through the summer from Springdale Farms in Cherry Hill. It's Cherry Hill's only uh, remaining farm, and it's really, really the best corn that I've found. Um, it's such an integral part of the Mexican cuisine. So when we were in Mexico, I always went for the street corn. And when I got back to Jersey, I was like, oh, you know, that would be really, really, really... Uh, a fun thing to do at the restaurant. But what I didn't realize was that the corn in Jersey is like way better than the corn in Mexico. So uh, you get the concept of the, of the street corn, but you get a sweeter, nicer variety that's a lot more tender and it just seems to work. So for the street corn, we basically shuck the corn like halfway where we, we take it all the way down, but we, um, we leave the, the leaves on to use as a handle for when you're grilling it. And then you take one of the leaves that you've taken off before and you rip it into a strip and then you tie it, which makes a really, really nice, easy way to A, for the chef, turn it on the grill and B, for the guests or your friends at your house to hold on to it while they eat it. And then you have your corn ready to roll. So we're gonna put the corn right on our hot grill. This works on your outdoor propane or uh, gas grill or your charcoal grill. Um, I would say a seven minute grill, depending on how hot your grill is. So these are just about golden brown and just about ready. So I'm going to actually take them off and put them onto the plate here, and get them ready for service. Now the way that we finish the corn, and this is a really cool trick that I learned from one of my chefs is that you can use a tortilla to help butter the corn. And since the butter is room temp and soft, all you do is you take your corn like this and you put it in the tortilla and you run it like that. So if you're at home and you're doing this, you can also uh, have your butter from your kitchen at room temperature and just grab an old tortilla that's lying around and use that instead of you know, trying to spread it on with a knife or whatever. It's just a really, really, really easy, efficient way to butter your whole ear of corn in a relatively quick amount of time. Okay, so now that the corn is buttered, we're going to uh, add our queso fresco. Um, queso fresco is basically just a Mexican um, fresh cheese. And um, 
we just use it to garnish the corn. And it adds a nice little salty flavor. Um, typically you would put maybe a little bit of a chili powder on top of it, but since we made the garlic chili butter, we cut out that step. Um, and then this, one of the best things about the, the corn is squeezing your fresh limes on top of it before you eat it. So this is our Jersey Fresh Grilled Sweet Corn with garlic chili butter and queso fresco, and it's my summer favorite dish. I love to serve it at my house, and all my guests love it, and they love it so much that even when it's December, sometimes they ask for it, and I say, I can't do it, there's no Jersey corn. Enjoy, guys.